Hey guys, Nick here from S2 Strategic Defense and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite gizmos. Uh, this is a tactical pen. Okay? And I know some of you guys might have seen these things online uh, or on Facebook and they're starting to get some popularity over here. They're made of aircraft aluminum. They typically have a DNA extractor on one side and the skull crusher, at least that's what I call it, uh, on the other side. And then when it opens up, it's a pen. These are excellent tools if you can't have your knife with you, if you can't have a firearm with you, uh, but you want to have something additional. Now, a lot of people are buying these things and still going, does this operate like a knife? And the answer is no. It actually operates like a coubaton, which is really important to understand because instead of treating it like a slicing weapon, we, te uh, we treat it like an impact weapon. Uh, aside from that, that particular characteristic is replaceable by a lot of things. You can use a flashlight, you can use a roll of quarters, you can use an actual palm stick, uh, a bunch of different things, okay? Now I'm gonna show you guys something really simple as far as tactics go, uh, or how to operate these things, and we're gonna start with what's called an Equis, or an X pattern. Now the X pattern is designed to make an entry, not to finish the fight, okay? So let me steal Brian out here. I have the tactical pen in my rear hand. I have my hands up defensively as we would normally do. Okay, now it could be in the front hand as well. I just have it in the rear hand. It could be one side up or the other side up. We'll talk about that in just a second. But the Equis pattern is always the same. Okay, let's just say Brian's working off of the one, two. So he throws me the jab. Now my first line is to use my forearm up against the side of his wrist and go downward. And when then that second hand comes out to make the X, two. Okay, so when we put this together, we go one, two. One more time, one, two. Now what you notice is I don't swing all the way through, okay? Because if I do this and my arm's out of the way and he throws that two, now it's a drag race to see if I can't get back online and I'm always gonna lose that, okay? So we keep our hand in front of us. One and two, and you notice I'm hinging at the elbow. One, two. One more time. One, two. All right? So that's a basic X method entry or an Equis entry. Now we have to start getting offensive with our tool for self defense. I'm going to show you guys three different lines uh, to follow up with that X entry, and then you guys can try this. First one, we're going to use the, the forehand strike or the open end strike. Okay? So when he gives me the one, two, I give my Equis, I cover, I retract my weapon, and I go straight in. Let's do this again. One, two, and three. One more time. One, two, and three. One more time. One, two, and three. Okay? Then we go to the backhand method. Okay? So we're going to go one, two, I still cover, I pull this over my shoulder and attack here. Here we go. One, two, and three. And one more. One, two, and three. And one more time for me, Brian. One, two, and three. Okay, so now you have the forehand and you have the backhand. Now we have the overhand. Again, starting with that Equis entry, now we go straight over the top from 12 o'clock down. Okay, so here we go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so you have from the top the Equis entry. And then you have the Equis entry followed by the open hand strike. One, two, three. And then we have the backhand strike. One, two, three. And then you have the overhand strike. One, two, and three. Now, let's flip this guy over and put the DNA extractor on the bottom. It's gonna be the same thing. One, two, except now we're driving the DNA extractor instead of the pointy end. Okay, so right here. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. So you get to see all three different angles happening over there. The other part that you can use with this thing is to help you disarm. If this person has something in their rear hand, a bottle, uh, uh, a stick, a knife, that kind of thing. When he brings out that rear hand straight with his weapon, we will do the same thing, okay? When I come over here, I still defend, I catch, and now instead of attacking here, we attack at the hand. 
So let's do this again. Give me the one, two. One, two, and now I attack at the hand. One more time for me. One, two, and attack at the hand. Okay? Now I start building combinations. Okay? So we go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay? So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's how you use a tactical pen. Very simple. Uh, keep it simple and stupid, right? The KISS method is always the way to go for me. Uh, have some fun with that, and I'll make some other videos where show you guys some other fun stuff with this. Until then, be safe, be well, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>